So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run as administrator and then click on yes. And then once you run this, you're going to type in IP config space forward slash release. Click on enter. And then you're going to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter again. And now you're going to type in IP config space forward slash renew. Click on enter again. Wait for this to load. And now you want to type in NETSH space INT space IP space set space DNS. Click on enter. And now you want to type in NETSH space WENSOC space reset. Click on enter again. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're going to find your network adapter. You want to double click on it. And then click on properties. And then click on internet protocol version 4. You want to click on use the phone and DNS server address. Make the first line 8888 and make the second line 8844. And then click on OK. And now once you do that, you just want to close out all of this. And now you want to take note of your network adapter name. My one's called Intel R Pro. You want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you run this, you want to expand network adapters. And then you want to find the same network adapter name. So my one's called Intel R Pro again. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for device installed. And now once you do that, you want to close out of this. And you want to head back into this page. You want to right click on your network adapter and then click on diagnose. If it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. And now once you complete all these steps in the video, you just want to restore your computer and then the problem should be fixed.